Welcome to this video. Today I want to answer the question, is your computer safe? Now in a recent video, a video I will link down in the notes below, I've talked about six security programs that I recommend to help protect your computer. Now the extremely short version of that video is one, you need a very good antivirus program. Two, you need a free anti-malware program that does not run in the background. Three, you need an automated online backup software. Four, a good VPN. Five, drive encryption software. And six, you need a password keeper or password vault. Now, if you need more information on those or have questions, again, go down to the notes below, click on the link for the video, watch the video. Now, the question that comes up from that is, if I use those six security programs, does that automatically mean my computer is safe? The answer is no. Do not misunderstand me. Those six programs absolutely help protect your computer, but there's no guarantee, there's no promise. Let me put it to you this way. If you go out and buy a new car that has all these great safety features, just an outstanding safety rating, but you are a reckless driver and you drive that new car off a cliff, oh, no. in all likelihood, you will either be seriously injured or dead and your car will most likely be totaled, regardless of all of those safety features. It's the same thing with the computer. You can put all these security programs on it, but if you are a reckless computer user, there's no guarantee, there's no promise, and most likely you will run into problems or troubles or other issues. One difference though between reckless car drivers and reckless computer users is I think most people understand what it means to be a reckless driver, but I don't think most people know or understand what reckless behavior is on a computer. And so just briefly, I want to go over some examples of what reckless behavior is on a computer. Now this is a list that I could talk about for a very long time, but I'm going to try to keep it short. Now some examples of reckless behavior could be viewing adult websites or torrenting. Even if it's legal torrenting, it potentially could be reckless behavior. Not keeping your computer up to date is reckless behavior. I'm talking about the operating system, your browsers, all of your security pro programs. All software on your computer must be kept up to date or that is reckless behavior. The firmware on your router must be kept up to date and must be password protected. If both of those are not met, that is reckless behavior. Installing extensions and other plugins and other add-ons onto your web browsers can be reckless behavior. Installing programs that pop up from the internet when you're trying to get to desired content can be reckless behavior, especially if you're installing something where you don't even know what it is that you're installing. Opening up emails from people that you do not know or not verifying where the email came from is reckless behavior. Clicking on attachments or links from emails, again, without verifying the email is reckless behavior giving out your contact or email information to various people and resources is reckless behavior. Giving out your email to various different websites and other people is reckless behavior. Using a used hard drive before wiping it and reformatting it is reckless behavior. Not destroying your old hard drives or other drives is reckless behavior. Not covering your webcams when they're not in use is reckless behavior. Accessing any kind of personal account on a device you do not own is reckless. Accessing a personal account on any sort of network outside of your home network or cellular data that you pay for is reckless. In other words, even if you own a device but you connect to the Wi-Fi at work or school, do not access your personal accounts that is reckless if you do so. Using public Wi-Fi without a VPN is reckless behavior. Using the same password more than once is reckless behavior. If your passwords are not at least 16 characters long, completely random and made up of letters, 
numbers and symbols, if it does not meet those requirements, that's reckless behavior. Using weak, secret questions that are easy to guess is reckless behavior. Not using two-step verification on all of your personal accounts is reckless behavior. Not using encryption software both for your drives and your communication, including text, phone calls, and emails, if not all of that is encrypted, that is reckless behavior. Putting personal information on social media is reckless behavior, and that includes photos. Accepting friend requests from people you do not personally know is reckless behavior. Not turning your social media privacy settings to the maximum is reckless behavior. This list goes on and on. I could go on, like I said, and talk about this for quite some time, but the point is your computer is about as safe as you, the user. If you're not a safe user, even with all of those security features and security programs, if you're reckless on the internet and reckless with your computer use, you will get into trouble. <laughs> However, if you educate yourself and you are a good, responsible computer user, in addition to those six security programs, you will absolutely have a much better experience. That's everything for this video. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please put them in the comment section below and I will respond as quickly as possible. And as always, thank you very much for watching this video.